Good day guys and welcome back to the Rassic Brothers. Now today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing a prediction video for the 2023 AFL season. But how this will work, it's not going to be our predictions, it's going to be completely random. We'll be using a spin the wheel to decide what will happen in 2023. So we'll for the... taking turns. Yeah. Uh, for the first thing, we're doing the ladder. So we've got all 18 teams on the ladder and whoever it lands on first, 18th, then next, 17th, all the way up to first. And yeah, that'll decide the ladder, obviously. Then we'll do the Premier, uh, Coleman Medal, Brownlow Medal, and... Rising Star. No, we'll leave. We won't do Rising Star today. We'll do Coleman Medal, Brownlow, Wooden Spoon, Premier and the ladder. Let's go. <laughs> First spin. Here we go. Who's gonna finish in 18th position? We have the Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Wow. We have the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs. Okay. We'll remove that. Ah, uh, so Bulldogs. Bulldogs 18th. You never know. I think they're gonna be a big slider this year. Who do we have next? We have Rio. Freeman of Dockers. This is. Well, I don't think that'll happen. They could get close to Next up on our list, finishing in 16th position, we have the... Suns. Gold Coast Suns. Okay. I don't really like that. The Suns could Just be good. Just leave it there and we'll give them the task. Suns could be good. All right. That, I don't think that'll happen either. So, 15th. Can we get someone like... Adelaide, okay. Adelaide, that's I think they'll good. probably finish a bit higher, but that's Maybe our best they pick so finish. far. They could finish like 13, 14. Yeah. Maybe even 12, if they're pretty uh, good. Next up, we have Geelong. In 14th position, we have Geelong. Gee, this is a bad ladder so far. Yeah, pretty good ladder so next far. Up, pretty we have in 13th position, we have the Wet Toast Eagles. Oh, I think they're going to finish Wooden Spoon. The Wet Toast. Wait, why am I saying, why did I say in the intro we are going to do Wooden Spoon when it's obviously on the ladder? I'm such an idiot. We'll do Coleman Metal, Brown though, Wooden Spoon, Premier and the ladder. It, it's We've already done the Wooden Spoon on the ladder. And I didn't realise. Oh, yeah, true. West Coast 13th. Wait, who's who was the wooden spoon? Who was the wooden spoon? Uh, Bulldogs. <laughs> Bulldogs. Sorry, that is really poor for me. I'll have to fix that editing mistake. Well, not really an edit mistake. But Brisbane 12th. Okay, that is not going to Wait, happen either. Did I just spin it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Port Adelaide in 11th. Not bad. Not true. That's Not actually bad. probably my prediction, maybe. Port Adelaide are the most overrated team. I said they'd finish eighth last year. People gave me hate and look where they finished. As we got Richmond in tenth, don't think that'll happen. I think the Tigers should make the top four this year, the third list. Uh, nice. Yours. Alright, who's going to just miss out on the top eight? Please don't be Collingwood. Please don't be Collingwood. Oh my god, it's Collingwood. Are you serious? At least he was in between Collingwood oh, or Collingwood. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Collingwood. Ninth, who's going to finish eighth? Your spin, Wardy. Come on, please not come. Calm is still in. Alright, who do we have? This is the worst ladder ever and it's going to get even worse. It's Melbourne. We've still got GWS, Hawthorne, Essendon, and North Melbourne all in this list. North Melbourne for seventh, is it? Or is it the Saints? It's North, okay. North. North Melbourne. Wait, did you just spin on something? That was here. All right, nice. Oh, wait. I don't know who's spinning it is. But we've got the Saints for sixth position. Yeah, that was just mine. All right. All right, here we go. No! We've got the Carlton Football Club in fifth. They just miss out on the top four. The only good team we have left is Sydney. You never know. They could even drop Essendon down, could like finish eight. in the top four if it's any of these teams. And it's going to be GWS who finish fourth. <laughs> what is this ladder? This like, is come the on worst Essendon. ladder prediction. Come on, Essendon. No! Essendon, 
more third, okay. Let's see who finishes on top. Should be the Sydney Swans. And it is the Sydney Swans. Wow, that is a decent prediction. Second and first. Finally, we get a pretty accurate one. All right, so for the Premier, we are doing it how we've got the top eight teams that finished on the ladder. And then whoever it lands on will be the Premier. So, yeah, whoever it lands on on this spin will be the Premier, apparently. Okay, now okay. you can go. Who is going to be the Premier? Oh my Stop, god! Please, please, please! It's gonna be Carlton! Yes! Carlton! Finally! Alright, let's get on to the brown low. For the brown low, we have got each team's most likely winner for the brown low, and we're gonna go, so whoever it lands on first will finish in third place, then second will finish in second place, and then on the third spin, the final spin, that'll be who finishes in first place and wins the brown low. Right. third and first. Okay, Ward's gonna press, who will finish third? It will be... Oh, Zach I wanted that to be Brayshaw because that would have been a lot more accurate. Mm -hmm. Zach Merritt, will, there's not much to choose from from Essendon, that's for sure, but Zach Merritt in third. All right, I'll give a spin for second place. Who will finish second? Oh, my goodness, this is the worst. This is the worst. Luke Davis, Uniac. That is, sorry, I think. I spelled his name slightly wrong there, but that's okay. It's Who's going to finish first trash. in the brown yeah, It will be Chad Water. I do not mind that at all. Especially Please. if the Come on, Tim Kelly. will finish first. Go on, Tim no. Kelly. All right. For our final thing, we're going to do the Coleman medal. So similar to the brown, they will get each so team's most likely candidate to kick the most goals. And then third to second to first. Let's I'll go. be third first. So we have all the players who we think are most likely going to win it. For St Kilda, we put Tim Membry instead of Max King because Max King, I believe, is going to be injured for the first few rounds. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to double check on that. But here we go. Ward, do you want to give it a spin? Mm? Who's going to finish in third place in the Colmanian medal? It, it's a Brody my check. I'll take that. I won't Brody take that. My check. No. Come on. Oh. All right, that's. This is for second though. Kerno can still win it. Is Kerno gonna get second? Kerno, after finishing oh, yeah. first, oh, yeah. will you draft him come first? All right, your spin. Who's gonna win the Coleman Medal? Decent pick so far. First place is it Tom Lynch? Are you kidding me? It's Tim Memory, the person who's not gonna win it at all. Oh my goodness, this is the worst ever goal. prediction. This wheel has no AFL knowledge whatsoever. Like five goals. I mean, if Tim Membry wins this, this it would be one of the funniest things and ever. And I think this is all accurate for the next I know. Week. Okay, so I'm um, getting out, so I'm <laughs> Where are you going, Ward? Going outside. To do what? To go to the dog. <laughs> go walk the dog. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the video for today. Hope Bye. you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope Bye. this. My goal for this video is to get Bye. over 60 views. Bye. If you watch this and haven't even enjoyed it, just chuck a like anyway. I don't care. We just need some likes, alright, guys? Even chuck a sub, even if you think I'm annoying or whatever. Just chuck a sub because we want to hit 400 by the end of February. So make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye. See ya. <laughs> See you guys.